Uh, Andrew, what do you make of this? Well, I think it's deeply, deeply worrying. Um, thank goodness we've got uh, the example of Nigel Farage, a man who's, who's got a platform and is not a shrinking violet. I just worry about you know, who has actually had their bank account taken off them for the same sort of reasons, um, who didn't have N Nigel Farage's profile. And it's all right for the public saying, well, I don't agree with what Nigel says. He, you know, he's, like many of us, a bit of a Marmite politician. But uh, we either stick up for Nigel um, or um, it, they'll be coming for us next. There's no doubt about it. And I think I... it's deeply worrying. It's, it's more than just um, Alison Rose, the whole board at NatWest. Yeah. It's wider than that because when Nigel says that he's um, applied to 10 other banks and was refused an account, that makes you think it's a you know, systemic across the industry blacklisting, which is, is even more worrying. You're a contentious figure, Andrew. You're a, an MP. You've been an MP for a long time. You speak your mind. You've back, backed Brexit. Are you tempted to find out what your bank says, thinks privately about you? Are you tempted to <laughs> seek one of those documents? Forty pages there were on Nigel Farage. There might be 55 pages on you, Andrew. Yes, it's a, it is a, an interesting prospect. But, I mean, that, that question, I mean, people could ask what's the bank holding on them and also what interest is it of the bank uh, what their political views might be and surely it's, it's the opposite of, of banking um, but I think that gives you an indication of the people who've got power over the banks and we're looking across the whole of industry big business it's all about ESG scores and um, I think you have to ask yourself who, who bought that system in. So do you think, I mean, Nigel Farage now thinks, is now insisting the whole, uh, the whole board resign and Alan, uh, Dame uh, Alison Rose goes without a payoff. Do you agree with his stance on those things? Um, well, it's easy to make those comments. Obviously, you know, there are legal contracts in, in position for employees of large companies and uh, I'm sure the lawyers will enjoy earning money arguing over it. But the principle is I don't think the responsibility ends with Alison Rose. Uh, who else knew knew what? Certainly the chairman's got questions to answer. But as I stated earlier, when Nigel can't get a bank account at any other bank, that looks more like a systemic blacklisting, which is which is even more frightening than the situation we're seeing now. Do you think it's because he was the high priest of Brexit, Andrew? Do you think that's the real what's the real issue here? We cannot get away from Brexit, whether you supported it or not. That's why the bank t took a great dislike to him. And what business of the bank was it to take a position um, on okay. Nigel's views or anybody's views on on Brexit, immigration, or anything else? Uh, it's none of their business whatsoever.